Well, hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career reading for the end of February, right through to the end of March, 2023. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading and not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details. And I will also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <laughs> Okay, my beautiful Sagittarians, this is your career reading. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. Uh, just to let you know though, your fourth house and your 10th house is influencing you at this time. Now the fourth house is all about stability, but it's also about where you feel like you belong. So when you put that in context to your career, you may be looking at whether your uh, current path offers job security or whether you feel like your heart is truly in it. So a lot of you may be actually asking bigger questions during the next six weeks about your true uh, path and your direction. Now also your 10th house is activated as well and that's all about career, ambition, your drive and bringing in um, your tenacity to make what you want become a reality, okay? Now, you'll also be focused on your reputation within your work environment or within your career sector, and um, it's all about what you're known for. Uh, you also will be connected to your purpose, your true calling, and you will be uh, given that extra boost in order to be very, very successful. Now, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Garden Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? Now, just as I was starting this reading, I got the sound of a microwave pinging okay so maybe someone out there is microwaving their food and their food just pinged um, this could be literally or maybe it just it just happened before you settled down to this reading I mean spiritually it could mean that something you're cooking is ready uh, or something that you've got in mind to launch is ready for you um, so or it could also mean that you are currently cooking up a new plan I'm just trying to see what else it could mean for you. Thank you so much for it, guys, going angels. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what else it could be. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, it's obviously very, very precise. If you're not cooking something in the microwave literally just now, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means that I um, almost like e eavesdropped. I suddenly get bursts of energy and I can hear things. Uh, so that's what it sounded like through the water because I'm scrying at the same time as doing a reading. Now, just let me get all of your cards first. I can see that uh, with the Five of Pentacles, something's been very, very difficult for you. Um, I get a sense that you've been struggling with something. Uh, some of you may have even been battling health issues where you've been trying to move towards your goals, but at the same time, you felt fatigue. They're giving me the word fatigue in the water. Uh, so some of you uh, may have been also feeling a little bit like fed up of the same old routine in what you're doing at the moment and you're trying to shake things up a little bit. But you may have a little bit of a choice between something that's a little bit more exciting, a little bit more adventurous and stability because we do have that fourth house uh, influencing you at this time. Now, also, some of you, because of your fourth house, you may be compelled to find jobs that you can do within the home space, um, careers that you can do from home, or you may find a balance between doing something that you do in an office or um, or in a an actual physical place, and maybe you've got a side hustle going on, something creative that you want to do from home. So I'm picking up on those vibes at the, at the moment. Let's get straight to your reading. Your first card there is the Hangman. So this is a card of really 
searching for direction, trying to see everything from different viewpoints before you take action on something. The hangman is all about wisdom. It indicates that you are in a period where you're in self-evaluation mode and you are currently reflecting in order to manifest new opportunities, especially since you've got the manifestation card, which is the magician card. I feel like you tend to sacrifice a lot for your career. You're the sort of person who works really hard and you invest everything you've got to make your goals happen and become a reality. But recently you may have been starting to wonder about your path. You may even feel that you're hitting a dead end in some way in your career. Even though you love what you do or you used to love what you do, I feel like you're cu currently curious about other options or other paths that may be available to you. So some of you may be actually completely deciding to change your career path. You may have been someone who was working in an office for some time and then suddenly you want to, you know, go out and be a deep sea diver or you want to, uh, you know, be a botanist or something like that, you may change completely to do something that is more in alignment with your heart or your true calling. Um, now, they're showing me the maze. My guides are really pointing to the maze at the moment. So some of you may have been feeling a little bit lost in the repetitiveness of your career. Uh, you are a fire element, my beautiful Sagittarians, and you, it's not that you get bored easily, but you like to keep things interesting. You like to feel like you're, um, making progress or that you have purpose or that what you're doing has meaning. And if you're feeling right now that uh, you're checking out or you feel that right now you're just hitting a brick wall at every turn or you've hit a plateau or some level in your career where you feel like you cannot go any further, you don't want to double back on yourself. So I feel like you're looking at other options in order to make progress. Okay. Um, I mean, they literally, my guide literally pointed to these words. It says, don't be afraid don't be afraid. So if you're thinking about launching something new or if you've got a new idea that's really exciting and, and adventurous and it's a new vision that gives you a spark or a fire in your soul, then don't ignore it. It's there for a reason. Your guides are giving you these little whispers. So suddenly you feel you want to take the initiative on something. That's the universe giving you a little hunch or a little nudge in the right direction or in the direction of your dreams. Now, um, Surrender does tend to mean, you know, surrender to the process. Know that the universe uh, sometimes makes us feel uncomfortable or feel like we're in limbo or feel stuck so that we do something about it, okay? So if you've noticed that, because I'm picking up this energy that at every turn, something's annoying you in your career right now. Something's getting on your nerves. It could be literally that a colleague is tapping a pen on the, on the desk, or it could be that, you know, the noise is amplified outside, or you feel like no one's ever organized and you'd feel like you're the one who's always working really hard. There's something here that's making you feel that things are a little bit difficult. The universe tends to ramp up that level of uncomfortableness or, you know, it's almost like stagnant energy. It, it amplifies all the negative about a situation so that you don't become complacent, so that you actually change or make a decision to take a leap of faith in a certain direction. So if you feel like you're a little bit stuck or you're a little bit in limbo in your career right now, and you're just feeling like it's just a different day, but everything else is the same, I feel like you're searching for inspiration or you're searching to transform your career in some way. You have lots of wonderful new ideas coming in over the next six weeks, and I feel that will help you gravitate towards the success that you desire. There's a new offer coming on in. I feel like there's this energy of you feeling um, either bored or un motivated in your current circumstances, but that's all about to change, okay? Uh, they really also want to highlight the star there for you as well. The star is, of course, about clarity, about inspiration, so I feel you are currently in a period of self-evaluation where you, you know, work out what it is you want, the direction you're headed in, and if you feel like you're not on the right path at this moment, or you feel that you've been derailed, or you just feel like things are not moving as quickly as you want them to, I feel like you're making major transformations in order to be where you want to be. Also, with this hangman energy, I get a sense of um, 
like financially, you may be worried a little bit about money because we do have a five of pentacles there. But when it's crossed by the hangman energy, it means relax, don't fret. You'll get a new perspective and you'll know when it's time to act and you'll know that you're in a really good position. So financially, I feel like there's more money for you. If you've spent over, you know, if you've overspent in the previous month or you feel like you haven't got enough savings this month, um, as you move throughout March, you'll see that there's more money available to you. A lot of us are all, feeling the pinch when it comes to the price of living you know everything's going up and inflation's going up everything seems to be going up and up and up and up apart from the wages but I feel that a lot of you are being very savvy or very clever you're transforming your finances cutting back on the things that you feel are not necessary you're finding lots of bargains and deals is what my guides are giving me you're going to find a discount on lots of things that you really want and it's almost like you're not even trying now. The universe is kind of orchestrating lots of moments where you just stumble upon a better deal financially in some areas of your life where you want to make a bigger purchase, shall we say. Um, they give me shop around, you're shopping around, okay? And this may be the same uh, when it comes to your career. You may be shopping around, seeing if there's a better deal for the effort that you put into circumstances. Um, now, they're not, they're telling me I'm not finished with this card yet. As you can see, there's um, like underneath this triangle, which of course is a, is a head, um, you know, we've got the world. So some of you may be thinking about whether you belong in the country that you're in. And what I mean by belong, is your heart in it? Does the, does, does the company, uh, the country or the company, does it offer uh, rewards to be there? Is there incentives for you to stay? And that's, you know, whether I'm, I don't really know what I'm talking about when I think about tax breaks or economic fluctuations and things like that. You may be exploring lots of options about where you feel like you belong and where your career could take you. So you may find that there is an opportunity uh, doing something that you love doing, but it might be in a different country that pays more wages and takes less taxes. I, I, you know, I feel like there's this energy of exploration where you may be looking at those areas. Now, not everybody's going to resonate with that, but I'm really picking up this energy of where do I belong? And this is definitely influenced by your fourth house. Okay. Fourth house is all about stability as well. You'll be thinking about what's right for you, what's right for your family, and you'll be thinking about your responsibilities uh, in order to get the job done. Now, also, we've got that five of pentacles. So some of you may feel there's a, you know, either a clique in the office, shall we say, or a clique wherever you work. It doesn't have to be an office. It can be that you're working in, you know, a kitchen. Uh, you could be a caterer. It could be that you're working in a garage. You, you fix cars um, or you construct cars. Some of you could be working on a building site where you uh, are into construction um, or you work in a bank. So wherever you work, I feel there's this energy here of you feeling a little bit like on the outsides looking in. You're working really hard and you're finding uh, the amount of work perhaps very, very difficult, okay? This card indicates that the, perhaps the amount of money that you're making is nice, but it's also leading you to not be able to have the luxurious lifestyle that perhaps you're hoping for. And for some of you, it's it's a struggle, okay? I mean, dreaming of the luxurious, fantastic, financially rewarding lifestyle that we all dream of uh, in order to uh, keep ourselves stable. I mean, money's wonderful. It prevents you from worrying about life, but you know, it's more important to make sure that you are doing something that you love, that you feel uh, adds value. And right now, you're not so sure. With the five of pentacles, I mean, you bring value to it, but right now you're wondering, is it worth it? I mean, are you getting out of it what you put in? And you may be feeling it's time to move because we've got the full card here as well. You're curious about looking at other options because where you're at, it just feels like there's either a lack of um, input or a lack of uh, ability to be mobile within the career sector. You're not able to level up to the next stage. You've hit a plateau. And some of you, not all of you, may have been struggling with your health um, in terms of feeling really exhausted, feeling like um, run down. Uh, you just feel like there's low morale or just, you know, it just feels like humdrum every day. Uh, some of you also may, um, and this is not gonna resonate for everyone, there's like a small percentage I'm getting here that some of you may have been uh, injured at work, okay? And you may be, um, 
if it was an injury that was caused by your work, you may be currently in the process of going to court or getting some sort of financial payment or settlement there. I do feel you're going to get a little bit more than you expected, but it'll be a second offer. So it could be that you appeal it. So the first offer you're like, no, that's not enough. And then I feel like you appeal it and you get more. Okay. So that's coming through. That's not going to resonate for everyone, but that's coming through. So I have to mention it. Okay. Now, the Five of Pentacles can also mean that right now you're struggling to save because circumstances are difficult, okay? Um, bills are rising, uh, food prices are rising, everything's rising but the wages. So I feel you may be thinking about putting your resume out there or looking further afield to see if you can bring more money in or get a better deal, okay? Um, also, I feel there's this element of no matter what you do, um, in your career, you always feel like you're never ahead of yourself. You're always chasing your tail is what I'm getting. So I feel like you're working really hard. Um, and some of you, I feel like you just got a lot on. Okay. Like you've got a lot of multitasking to do and you just always feel like you've never got any time for you that you're always just exhausted. So even if you work for yourself and you're um, an entrepreneur, you may feel like you're always chasing your tail in order to do something that you love and you care about. It's like you're working yourself to the bone. So I really get this sense that it's time for you to really kick back, relax, and try to find some fun or, you know, uh, you've been working really hard and it's just making you feel completely burnt out and exhausted. Some of you, I get this energy that some of you are working really hard, like overtime in order to, um, not just pay the bills, but some of you may be even saving for a home or a property or some sort of move. There's like a big purchase that I feel like you're saving for and you're cutting back financially just to make sure that you can save it um, for that item. But I feel it's making you feel, oh gosh, I just got no money to go out and enjoy myself. Life is for living. And, but I feel what you want to purchase is worth it and you will enjoy it. I actually feel like you'll find a discount or a really good deal on whatever that is that you want to purchase, okay? But we've got the full card here. This is your protagonist energy. So I feel some of you are just looking for a little bit more spontaneity, a little bit more excitement in your role, whatever it is that you're doing. I get this energy of you being curious about what options are out there. You are someone who is very talented and you are very skillful, but some of you may actually decide you want to learn new skills in either a new sector or even in the career that you're in right now in order to, um, you know, boss up, shall we say, go to the next level because you're, you're starting here at the full card and you're going to the page of pentacles, which means some of you, uh, will be offered a new job, a raise or a promotion. You started at a certain area and now you're being elevated, it brings more status, more money, more responsibility. And I feel it's more in alignment with, uh, the goals that you have. So that's really exciting for you. There is a, you are going to be financially mobile because of this new opportunity that comes in. Um, I feel instinctively you know that you can't, it's not that you can't or don't want to stay in one place all the time, but you know to be successful, it's about shopping around. It's about getting the best deal for the effort that you're putting in to the situation. Because remember, you know, you are awesome at what you do. You bring a lot to the table when it comes to your career. You are someone who is an asset when it comes to working with you. So that should come at a price. Don't undervalue yourself. There may have been situations or you may feel currently undervalued or taken for granted in your working environment and you know that something needs to change. So with the full card, I feel uh, that you are on the precipice of change and also uh, bringing a little bit more excitement and um, spontaneity into your um, working sector. I feel there's lots of new ideas. I mean, you're setting intentions. So some of you may be setting up your own business, for example, and you may feel a little bit worried or a little bit nervous about money. If you're starting up a new or fresh, or you're starting a new direction, or even starting up your own career from scratch, you may be worried. What if it doesn't work out well? But as you can see there, the full card is headed in the direction um, of success and the sun is shining on his back. So that indicates the universe is really giving him the energy male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. Um, you're being given this energy to take that leap of faith. And as you can see this figure right at the end, you've got the sun card, which indicates you are reaching for success. You're going to be very, very successful. Indeed. The thing that you have in your mind, you're going to have in your hand, you're going to have it in your bank account. You're going to have it in your everyday. So 
I get the sense that your dreams are coming true. Uh, make sure you connect to the bigger dreams because you're making them a reality and you're having the courage to take that leap of faith and just go for it. Now, we've also got the, ma the manifestation card, which is the magician card, okay? And this is in the resistance position. Some of you may have felt a little bit scattered recently or you felt like you're not reaching your full potential. There's an energy here of you feeling uh, that you, someone has been wasting your time or you've been, uh, you've got so many resources Resources available to you because you're so talented and so gifted that you may feel like you're not being given the opportunity to apply yourself to the situation to show what you're truly made of so that you can elevate and step into more successful positions but by the end of the six weeks as you can see uh, this is going to be in the upright which means what you're thinking about whatever it is you're manifesting it's becoming a reality you have an urge to create you've got new ideas some of you may even have like a new project that you've got on the boil or that you You've got waiting in the wings to start. I feel uh, you're going to make that uh, very, very successful. It's going to bring in a steady uh, set of finances. And um, this magician card indicates that, you know, everything is possible. You are possible, okay? You're making the impossible possible is what they're giving me. There's infinite possibilities for you to manifest what you truly desire. So this is, I mean, this card literally, if you think about it, what I just said, what you can see in your mind, you can have in your hand. So I really feel the eye in the hand is indicative of that very, very sentence, okay? Now with the Magician card, this does tell me how gifted you are. You have everything you need within you, the capability, the talent, um, the drive, the power, the focus to make your dreams a reality. And I feel whatever it is you got your eye on, you are making steady progress towards it. The four pentacles in this position indicates um, that uh, there's something here that perhaps you've been feeling a little bit worried about. I mean, this is a card of feeling a bit financially vulnerable. So I definitely see with the uh, ace here, this could be a rejection. I mean, they're in the reverse, but they get turned into the upright by the end of the six weeks. So you may have felt that you were rejected from a position or a promotion, or you feel like you haven't reached where you want to be just yet. And you may be kind of really questioning your path and saying, I should be this successful by now. I should be this far on my path by now. But everything happens for a reason. There is change happening here. The universe is offering an opportunity in towards you that will bring you a lot of happiness and a lot of financial reward as well. Ace of Wands indicates new project um, or definitely transformation. There's a card here. You're going to see lots of um, coincidences. Well, I always say there's no such thing as a coincidence, but you're going to see lots of omens where it points to you being successful. So for example, if you're walking down the sidewalk and you're like, having thoughts about your career, wondering if you're headed in the right direction, you may see, see a billboard and it just says right direction or this direction or on the right path. You know, I really feel you're going to see lots of signs and symbols that tell you that you are making progress and that you're headed in the right direction. You're making really good decisions. The Ace of Wands indicates that with action, um, you are changing your destiny and you have unlimited potential for success. This is a time for being daring. Allow those wonderful ideas to influence you to um, make them a reality. And I feel a lot of success comes from that. I mean, there's so many cards here that you have that have the rays of the sun and the sun is the most successful, abundant card in the deck, which indicates there's a lot of uh, financial reward attached to your progress, okay? Um, also, this is a card, you're going to be inspired, lots of new ideas, maybe even a new endeavor. This could be an entrepreneurial ship or setting up your own business, or some of you may even something that you felt very scattered with suddenly, if you've been procrastinating, you get this boost of energy to move forward with it and you're making things happen. Okay. Um, also they want me to highlight that there is a house there. So some of you, if you're going into real estate or you're actually uh, focused on buying a home, this is a very good time for finding what you desire. Okay. Um, I feel like you may make an offer on it, um, a little bit later in the month 
and I feel like your first offer is not accepted, but the second offer will go through, okay? So that's what I'm picking up there as well. Uh, Four of Pentacles indicates that you are thinking about stability, and this is a card of, you know, you being in control of your savings or concentrating on making sure you're bringing in more money and being able to save it or invest it in very lucrative ways, okay? Um, of course, we're all worried about finances, and I feel with your cards, especially since you go to a page of pentacles, it tends to mean that, well, I'm getting two energies. One is you may be a little bit worried about finances, but I feel actually you're leveling up and you're attracting more money towards you. So there'll be a little bit more money in your account at the end of March. But also the second energy I'm getting here is if some of you are setting up your own business, I feel like you may be investing in your business and you may feel like you haven't got as much money at the beginning, but it will pay it will pay dividends or pay rewards. Uh, ultimately, you're getting back more than you invested in in the first place, okay? Um, also with the Four of Pentacles, I really feel on a personal level, you're making really good savings decisions and you're protecting the finances that you've already made. Some of you may be looking at world events and thinking about the fluctuations in the economic markets and you may be protecting the finances that you've already made by looking at the investments you have in different establishments. So you may be checking to see if ish if each institution has a connection, let me get that right again. Sorry, I'm scrying. So they're giving me, and I'm channeling, they're giving me the words to say and the energy. Um, so let me get this straight, what they want me to say. Um, some of you may be looking at the various institutions that you have your money housed in, and you may be making sure that they are not connected because if you've got a certain amount in that bank or institution and it's linked to another one, you're only covered for one amount. Be, um, financially. So you may be wanting to make sure that you secure your um, possessions, shall we say, by looking into aspects like that. Um, am I getting anything more from that Four of Pentacles? I feel like you are holding on to money, but it's, in, in, it's interesting. I'm also getting this energy of, it's not that you're chasing money, but Sometimes when we are saving for something or we feel like we're working towards something financially, we've got a plan, it feels like we're not enjoying some of the money or we're feeling that life is passing us by because we can't get out or we, you know, we have to pay the rent this month. So therefore we can't go out and, you know, splash the cash with friends or even go to the cinema or whatever, the movies. So I feel some of you may be being very strict with your finances to make something happen and... I mean, it will be rewarding, but make sure that you are also finding time for fun. Now, fun can be free. Meeting up with your friends for a, a chat, a hug, whatever those, whatever it is you do with friends, it can be free. It doesn't have to cost anything. So I feel like you are really trying to find alternative ways to make life be very balanced for you as well. Because I see that you've been working really hard. And I also get this energy of some of you need a vacation or a break, but maybe this is something that you're actually saving for that will bring the reward that you desire, okay? Because I feel like you're working towards something. Now, also, we've got the High Priestess card there. Uh, this is the Intuition card. So this indicates that intuitively you're on the right path and you're making the right decisions. I do feel like you're working on something in secret. Okay, there's like a key there, a keyhole. So I feel something you're keeping to yourself or you're working behind the scenes or you're actually working from home and just not, you know, telling anybody about your projects that you've got going on right now. I get this sense also that you're gaining more wisdom because this is a card of gaining knowledge. This is about you being enlightened. So some of you may put yourself on a course of learning, uh, whether it's actually paying for a course of learning, like you're investing in your career uh, and it will bring dividends or uh, more money later on, or whether you are looking on YouTube. I mean, there's so many vast opportunities on YouTube to watch videos on how to do stuff. You know, if you want to learn how to change a plug, there's a video on it. If you want to learn how to invest your finances in something, there's a video on it. If you want to, uh, you know, know how to, <clears throat> excuse me, set up your own business, there's a video on it. So I feel you are currently in the flow of absorbing knowledge to gain more skills, to actually put yourself in a very good position to be ahead of the game in your career. Okay. Now I'm just seeing now, the High Priestess is also a card of caution, okay, to stop, wait, don't spend money, like, um, how can you put that? Don't, like, splash the cash or 
spend money willy-nilly. I actually feel like you're being very cautious because there is something that is more rewarding or something that you want to purchase that will bring a bit more happiness in. But I feel you're in command right now um, of your career and intuitively you feel that there are changes within your career sector. I definitely get a sense here that there may be in some sectors, there may be job losses, there may be uh, redundancies and things like that. This is going to become a little bit more of the norm, unfortunately. That's the energy I'm picking up. I'm not here to scaremonger anyone at all, my beautiful Sagittarians, but I am picking up the energy. Um, I do feel that you are secure, but actually I feel in the energy, you decide to change. You decide to leave perhaps or find a new opportunity because I get this energy of someone putting the feelers out and finding something new that is more in alignment with your heart, but also that brings a little bit more spontaneity, a little bit more excitement and brings more money. But I do feel that you will hear of some someone leaving or some redundancies at your place of employment. And I feel with the Four of Pentacles, you are secure. But because you've got the Fool card and the Ace of Wands there, I feel like a new opportunity comes your way and you are the one that leaves your, if you're currently in employment, I feel like you're tempted to leave your employment for something new that brings more money in, okay? So that's what I'm seeing there. Um, now we've got the Illumination card. That's the Sun card, of course. So this is about, you know, you gaining clarity on where you feel happy within your career, but also it's about success. This is a card of things blossoming for you. This is a card of shining your wonderful light with confidence because you're aware that actually you're really good at what you do, okay? And I get a sense here that some of you may want to go freelance or some of you are setting up, as I said, entrepreneurial ships, but ultimately you're reaching for the sun, you're going to get the sun. I feel whatever it is you've got in your mind as your goal, you're going to accomplish it. Okay, and also the Sun card is a card of not just abundance, but it's a card of people in your working environment really appreciate you and they love you. They may not say it from time to time, but I just get the sense that right now you're feeling a little bit unappreciated, but I feel there's someone, it could be, uh, how can I put it? It could be, I feel it's a feminine energy, but I feel this person is a boss or someone in a very high position who will give you like, it's almost like an exchange. You have a verbal exchange with this person and they tell you how much they appreciate your presence at the working environment. Now, this person is someone who rarely says anything. They're very quiet. They keep themselves themselves. They've got a lot of power. This person, they're going to just notice, well, they have been noticing you, but they're actually going to let you know that they've been noticing what an awesome job you've been doing. And I feel this person behind the scenes is orchestrating an opportunity to give you a raise financially because they really feel that you're an asset to wherever it is you work at, okay? You may know who this person is, but I feel like they are quite a silent, benevolent force in your life or in your career, shall we say. Now, for some of you, if you work on your own and you're an entrepreneur, I feel like you get a very lucrative client that perhaps you can't talk about because they're very high up within the scale or they're famous. Um, it's like off limits talking about this person, but this person will give you a bonus or they will actually uh, send someone else as a client your way. I really get a sense that, you know, you're on top of your game. You're very, very successful. And actually you are attracting more or gaining more traction in your career to reach the goal that you set out to accomplish in the first place. Okay. Um, now, also we have the four of cups. So the four of cups indicates that, you know, you're feeling a little bit frustrated. You may be even disappointed uh, and bored at your work environment. You may feel there's no, um, you know, workers' morale, you may feel everybody's got low morale at this time, or you may feel that you've been disappointed, you've been passed over for a promotion or an opportunity to head a project. I get this sense that something has not been going your way, and it's made you feel a little bit discouraged about moving forward. But the universe does not want you to be discouraged because the universe is trying to show you that they're offering something better for you, and that the other thing was not meant for you because it wouldn't have led you to the path that you really truly want to be on, okay? Okay. 
When you get the Four of Cups, this indicates that um, you're in a period of dreaming or introspection. You're contemplating um, the next move that you're making because you're feeling right now where you're at. It's just not rewarding or you feel that you haven't hit a, a point in your career where you feel like you should be. But the universe will surprise you with this offer when it comes in. I feel like it's an offer that you will grab with bro both hands and it's something that's uh, very exciting. For you. It's a surprise gift. So this could be a promotion, it could be a raise, could even be a new job if you've put your resume out there. But the Page of Pentacles tells me that this is something new that you're curious about. So even if you're staying where you are in the career that you're in, I feel like there could be a new project that gives you an opportunity to learn new skills or makes you feel curious about a sector that you have not explored yet. It feels like you are uh, starting something new, um, but it's also that you're starting, you're not starting from scratch, you're starting from experience, okay? Now also, I'm also getting this energy, and this is not going to resonate for everyone. If, for example, you are having difficulties paying bills, or you know, you're struggling financially with something, it's really important not to bury your head in the sand, okay? Because that will just amplify any problems. So if you do have any bills that perhaps you're struggling to pay, or you've, um, you know, been taken unawares, shall we say, it's important to contact the supplier and tell them and they will help you. They will find a repayment plan that suits your needs. Just don't ignore, okay? So that's what's coming out. That's not gonna resonate for everyone, but that's just coming through, so I have to mention it. And plus, I'm sending you a hug out there if that's you struggling. Things are taking a turn for the better, okay? And there is more finances available to you as well. Now, with the Page of Pentacles, this is an indication that whatever it is you're studying, you will actually uh, either learn a new skill or get a certificate, and it actually helps you apply for better jobs or better financial rewards within the place that you're in right now. The Page of Pentacles is, you know, your effort. Your effort will pay off. This is an indication that you are someone who is very studious or very serious about your career. You're serious about taking the next step. Thank you so much. I'm sure grateful. They're giving me a song right now. Let me just connect to that. Taking care of business. If you ever get annoyed, look at me. I'm self-employed. What? <laughs> okay. I mean, that's a little bit on the nose. Wow. Okay. That's you know, I've, I've heard that song before, Taking Care of Business. It's quite a famous song. I'm not sure. Maybe it's come up in the reading uh, maybe a year ago or so. I can't really remember. It's such a familiar song. Um, oh, who sings that song? You know, what they're giving me right now in the water is Bach. B-A-C-H. And it's just sort of gone really blurry. I cannot imagine for the life of me it is Bach. That's not that's not possible, okay? Bach was a classical composer. So I'm not really sure what they're trying to give me. Maybe there's a clue there that I'm not picking up on or I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. Um, but taking care of business, I mean... I feel that's what you're doing. You're really getting organized. You're getting focused. You've got a plan. You're sticking to the plan. And the Page of Pentacles really does indicate that your commitment to prosperity, you're going to start to see the first tangible signs of success and undeniable evidence that your hard work is paying off for you, okay? Your dreams are grounded in reality. You do have a plan. And because everything starts with that plan, I feel like you're going to, or you're starting to see the results that are generating from the effort that you've been making, okay? Also, you've got the ability to attract what you need in each circumstance. Now that song, it's relevant because you may hear that song in on the radio or in the mall or someone driving down the sidewalk. Uh, well, they shouldn't be on the sidewalk, but you be, might be walking down the sidewalk and you hear someone uh, driving in their car and they've got that song playing. I mean, it could even be on a movie. You'll hear that song in the next six weeks. This indicates that your organization skills or your goal, your plan is starting to take off and that you're in the flow of attracting more money towards you as well. And that they're giving this word professionalism. So I, I do get this energy of you elevating, bossing up, maybe stepping into a new position in some area and um, there will be new things to learn in that sector. Don't let it put you off, okay? Because I feel like it's really rewarding long term. Now, they're also showing me right now 
um, it's a tree, okay? But when it's, it's almost like a normal tree that's like, you know, uh, maybe because I just said Bach. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but they're just, Bach is B-A-C-H. I just want to clarify that. That was what they were showing me in the water. Bark is of a tree, B-A-R-K. I don't know why it's relevant, but it may be. So I'm just going to mention it again. But they're showing me a tree, like a normal tree, that's got that brown, black bark of the tree. And then it branches up and then there's sort of green leaves, but then it all goes golden, okay? So I feel like you are expanding or there's expansion in your career. There could even be a golden opportunity that is long-term or bring stability into your career sector that you'll be very proud of yourself that you kept moving in the right direction okay uh, i mean trees spiritually they tend to mean wealth or job opportunities or maybe even a job outdoors so uh, please take it as it resonates thank you so much spirit guys going angels i'm just going to get some final cards for you before i close your reading there we go they're showing me it's so important, these images, they may mean nothing to any of us in this moment, but my guides give me the cards and the energy that they need you to be aware of because it has relevance to your life. I mean, your last card there is the tree. So they're showing me a, the top of the tree was golden. So, I mean, maybe it's like when you reach the top, it's golden or you're on your way. I mean, this says financial growth, coming to fruition, abundance, outdoors jobs, family business and stability. So if you work at the, in the family business or you work from home, whatever it is you're, uh, you know, that you are attaching yourself to at this time is going to be very, very successful and also bring stability and abundance your way as well. Oh, I just had a little voice come into my, uh, I'm scrying at the same time as you're reading. Sometimes I'm clear audience as well with that. And I had a little voice that just went little acorns, little acorns. Okay. So maybe some of you out there went little acorns. I'm not sure. Um, but of course, little acorns, I think the saying is turn into a great big tree or turn into oak tree or something like that. So I don't know. I don't know what the saying is, but I, I just heard that voice. So I'm just telling you what that is. Now we have Buddha. Okay. And this indicates life purpose. Okay. More than money, spiritual wealth, counselor, being guided, divine path. So I definitely feel like you are being guided by the universe and by your guides onto the right path. Some of you may step into spiritual leadership jobs. Some of you may even connect to your spirituality and it will show you the answers that you seek in your career. And some of you may literally work within the spiritual realm, shall we say. And I feel it'll bring, it gives you this sense of purpose and value what you're doing. Of course, money, as I said, is important to pay the bills, but I feel you, my beautiful Sagittarians, you're focusing on more than that at this time. And also we've got skull, okay? And it says here, rough patch, um, you've been low on cash, um, maybe there's been no work, but you're reinventing the way that you work. So some of you, if you've come to this reading and you've either lost your job or you were made redundant before this reading, I feel like there is a new opportunity coming in, something that you already know about, something that you have talents and skills in, but you will also learn a little bit more on the job as well. They'll prepare you for elevating within that career sector. But if you are someone who's struggling uh, with the dynamics at work or things are difficult, I feel there's a new opportunity coming your way, something more creative or something that allows you creative expression to make it your own that brings more money too. And uh, for those of you, because we got the skull there, this can be that you are changing the way that you work so that it is not so difficult anymore. You're changing things so that you can actually reinvent or revamp, restructure the way that you work so that it's more enjoying. Uh, yeah, so you enjoy it more. So it brings more enjoyment, more fun, okay? Also, it says healer. So some of you may be going into the healing realm. Um, now, to, he to be a healer, of course, it can be that you are offering advice or a counselor or, you know, someone comes to you at work for advice. And I feel that, well, I feel that you are not closed off to giving them advice because this person in the future, they will do you a favor as well. But you're not giving advice to get it back. I feel like this person will just remember the kindness that you showed to them at the working environment and they'll do you a good turn. Okay, but um, I'm just going to go and get a trinket before we close. Thank you so much. 
Uh, we have the two hearts, okay? So this is about you attracting what you truly deserve and desire in your working environment. If your heart is in it, you'll attract more abundance. But if you're struggling and things are just not feeling right, it means that the universe is trying to point you in another direction. So listen to the calling, okay? Also, some of you may think about partnering up in business or you're already in a partnership. I feel things will go from strength to strength and they will flourish, okay? But do all things with love and you will attract more of the same, more abundance, more things to love. So I will leave that there. Also the two hearts, this may be a symbol that you will see over the next six weeks somewhere. It indicates that there is an offer coming to you. Now, this could be good news in terms of maybe a promotion or raise or more money. Uh, it could even be a tax break, for example, that comes through uh, that you were not expecting. So I do feel like there's a surprise around the financial realm for you that is positive. So look out for that too. I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in that reading for you, my beautiful Sagittarians. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Sagittarians. Love and light.